Uh, what do we do in this? We look at Nifty data, we look at Bank Nifty data, we look at their charts, OI, open interest, FIDA, etc. And we try to form an informed opinion on what the market is most likely to do tomorrow. And we try to figure out how will we react to the various scenarios market will throw our way. Not a nice day today. Uh, in fact, particularly difficult uh, day to trade because, see, here's the sequence of events, right? Day before yesterday, US is extremely weak, India opened flat. Yesterday, towards the close, we had a very strong closing. In the morning today, we had a dip on which there was a buying. And suddenly, after the buying at the top, we had almost like a um, 150 or almost a 200 point plus crackdown, right? So, uh, not, not an easy um, day to trade. It's almost like a bearish turn again, as Pratyus is pointing out. Uh, but let's look at our charts and figure out what the market is likely to do uh, now that we are here, right? So here's the most important thing. So we were drawing this trend line uh, for quite a while. I'll just change to the futures view, <laughs> right? So we earlier concluded based on the futures chart, even on the spot chart, that Nifty has gone back into this COVID channel that has been trend line that has been running for a long time. Now, um, even if we look at Nifty chart, spot chart, we can see again that Nifty has gone back into the channel almost, but now it is testing the low of the channel. But here's the important thing. In today's candle is a bearish engulfing candle on the spot chart. The future chart is kind of a negative candle, right? But basically this has come to this level, which is around 17,600 and uh, uh, 50 ish on future and 17600 ish on spot, both of which are very close to the COVID trend line, right? Also, we can see that today, after trying to break out of three moving averages 50, 100, and 200 hourly, it came back into the uh, it came back into the um, uh, last moving average, which is the 50 DMA. Right. If you look at Bank Nifty again, we did talk about Bank Nifty facing resistances here. One resistance was the 50 DMA, the other was a trend line. It looks like Bank Nifty got rejection from this trend line and the 50 DMA. This is the second rejection, by the way. So day before yesterday, there was a doji rejection. Yesterday, there was a bullish engulfing after that. Today, again, there was a rejection, which was kind of unanticipated. But low volumes, important to note that. Uh, and this is below this uh, horizontal trend line, which is sorry, horizontal uh, line, which is the uh, previous swing high, right? You can see two swings, swing highs here and uh, 50 DMA. So tricky uh, because there is some resistance here, right? So Bank Nifty is, Nifty is sitting on a support, make or break. Bank Nifty is testing a resistance, again, make or break. Uh, dollar has formed a reversal candle day before yesterday, bounced up and now come back again, right? So kind of make or break on all levels. Uh, chart wise, I'm thoda biased towards support. Uh, but let's look at other data, right? Uh, so Nifty back to testing COVID trend line. Bank Nifty rejected from 50 DMA. Uh, the problem with open interest chart for next week is that, see, there is some kind of a resistance at 17,600 and 17,700. Yeah. But it's too early to say anything because it's only day one. PCR is neutral at 0 0.7. Uh, but it's early to say because it's only day one, right? That's very important. On Thursday, it's very difficult to make a judgment based on one day's OI. And all of action happened today, right? Uh, there was no trading on the expiry yesterday. Now, if you go to FIA data, uh, huge... Uh, puts, not so much calls. This gap has really uh, opened up. Uh, and uh, overall, there are around 4 lakh, 3, 3.75 puts and 1.13 lakh calls. So it's definitely bearish. Futures data is bearish because 2000 plus crore sales and stock data is mildly bearish, 500 crore plus sell. Index future OI is now a solid 103k quantity uh, negative, which is bearish. Uh, so all of this is uh, indicating uh, a little bit of uh, uh, negativity, right? In the sense that uh, 
FI option data is negative, futures data is negative, stock data is mildly negative. So verdict is it's a very tricky situation. FI data is definitely indicating downside. Charts are indicating support. So I'm a little conflicted between these two on what to pick. And I'd rather wait and watch to see price action. And because it's an easy thing to do now, right? Because see, if this channel breaks, it's going to be very easy to spot that this channel has broken. Now I'm not going to call this broken today simply because there aren't all these breakouts will happen on significant volumes, right? Breakdowns, etc. This has not really happened on any kind of volume. So I'm going to watch here. Uh, there is a possibility that Nifty might hover around here for some time before eventually showing direction. But for me, it's not clearly a sell sell zone at this level or a buy zone at this level because today when it went down, there wasn't really any support in terms of a rejection wick at the bottom. Um, when it went up last two days, there was no rejection at the top either, uh, except today's price action. So this is like a very iffy butty moment in the sense that this trend line is still intact. If it is broken comprehensively with volumes, probably it's going to test uh, 17, uh, 450, that 200 DMA level first, and then eventually it might take 17, 300 again, right? Uh, but as long as this level holds, I'm not going to short for a large target. Of course, if 17, uh, 650 ish level, which is which trend line breaks, I might want to sell some calls for a short target, which is 17, 300 or 17, 450 or something. But I won't want to um, take a huge bet for like a crackdown, right? So my meta is that if this level breaks, there can be some small movement. It can be around 200, 300 points, which we'll figure out how much it is depending on it, how, how it goes. But if it holds here, we might see like a big movement because uh, I'll just draw this one too. Yeah, I mean, there is an early channel in the formation here, but let's not jump to that. So if you want, so basically, right, my meta is if you are the kind of person who can play 100 or 200 points, then if this thing breaks, you can, of course, sell a call or short a future for a 100, 200 point move till 17,400 or 7,300, right? But you can't short it expecting that boss 16,400, right? Because there are still supports here. There is this descending trend line. There is a uh, 200 day moving average. There is a, a 50 DMA. Several things are here. So if you're shorting, you can't short for, you know, 16,800 or 16,400 or 16,000. short short. Small target, maybe you can short. But if you're going to long here, you might have an interesting play because it's still back in this long landing trend line. And what we will see is probably a very big up move. Uh, in the sense that if this trend line holds, we'll first test 100 D 50 DMA at 7,900, 100 DMA at 18,100, and it could give you quite a bit of an upside given that this is also going to break a short term channel which is being formed here right so if i'm shorting my trade would be i'll try to sell a call or a call spread and try to capture a 200 point ish move uh, but i won't be remaining short at 17450 or at this level because it's a scary level to be short right there are too many supports coming into play but if i'm longing i'll try to be long and as long as this trend line holds which is around 17650 levels i'll stay long till a definitive reversal price action comes so long story short my trading strategy is that tomorrow i'll see what is happening if this trend line holds i'll have a long play if it breaks i'll have a short play for a smaller target so uh, basically uh I can do any strategy which gives me a okay okay profit for a down move a small down move and like a big profit for a large up move right so one such thing you can try is i mean i'm just slightly off script in the sense i wouldn't really do this um normally but let's try to see if there's a strategy like that right but again, I'm not a huge fan. So let's look at our hypothesis, right? Our hypothesis is that um, 
there could be a small move which we want to capture and a big move pe we of course want a big upside so one thing you can do is uh, you can do a put ratio spread right but then it fails to capture the big up move um i don't have a back ratio spread right others put ratio spread if i try to invert this so i want to do the call ratio spread with ulta yeah so what this does is but then uh, the catch of course is that if this stays right here it might not be a nice thing the break even is also a little too far 18000 let me try to shift the strikes yeah this might be an interesting play <laughs> because if it goes down so basically your assumption is that yaar kuch bhi ho jaye yahan pe nahi rahega right uh, either it's going to go up in a big way or go down in a small way so if you have that theory then one thing you can do is the ratio spread because if nifty goes down you will make a, a moderately decent return right and if it really goes up you will print money on this your risk of course is that if it stays between the uh, you know the current level and anything up to 1 percentish then you won't make any money of course you can uh, adjust this by you know making it a strategy like oh sorry this is 9th march so sorry yeah this is the real strategy so let me just uh, try to play around with it a little bit yeah this is a small loss if it goes down big upset so this is one strategy you can do uh, you can try a variant of it basically <laughs> my meta is that if it uh, and uh, if it goes up it might go up in a big way and if it does not go up it will play in a small way uh one thing you can do is you can probably try a different expiry but then the problem is that this longer expiry doesn't make sense because it has a very big loss in the downside right so probably 16th march yeah this is something you can try basically but uh, again the my only problem is that the break even is a little far away 1.3% so that might not be a nice idea uh, even if you were to change the profile a little bit right so anything uh, so actually you can shift this parallelly yeah this ratio spread is something you can experiment with so if nifty goes below 1% then you will make money on the spread if nifty goes above 1% also you will make money on the spread um the margin required is fairly low somewhere around 29k 30k types uh i mean if you are always bored of doing the same old same old you know uh call spread put spread etc and you think there is a possibility of a breakdown or a move up this is something you can experiment of course the <clears throat> the reverse thing you can do of this is uh uh sorry you can try the reverse of this trade which is a <clears throat> uh so if you believe in the ulta case that is you think there is a going to be a big down move and maybe not so much a bigger up move then you can do the put ratio spread which is uh, you know this trade sorry this trade so this gives you a i'll change the expiry this gives you a big upside if it goes down and a small downside if it goes up you can of course shift the strikes a little bit and you know adjust your payoff profile so if you do this uh yeah it can be 1% 1% anything above 1% you will be positive <laughs> anything below 1% down move you will make a reasonable amount of money with the upside so if you are of the hypothesis that yaar yahan pe to nahi rahega either big up move or big down move and if you have a bias towards one direction you can experiment with the ratio spread right i mean we always do uh uh uh, uh spread, uh, spreads right call spread put spread this is just uh uh doing something different for the you know kuch alag karte hai life mein types um one second let i'm just looking at the comments Mm-hmm. 
okay so i guess uh, i didn't find anything much in the com comments so this is our analysis for today um uh, what is it we'll see you again tomorrow uh, as usual this is not uh, recommendation or uh, advice or anything this is analysis so that we can all do the same kind of analysis even if somebody were not to tell you what to do right so on that note i'll take your leave <coughs> till we meet again please take care and keep your capital